In your daily life, there are situations where something is true or something is false. You walk into a room and the light is on. Is this statement true or is it false? You leave to go to work and the car door is locked. Is this statement true or is it false? The steps your brain takes to determine whether these statements are true or false is called logic. In digital electronics, we use gate circuits to make decisions and determine an outcome, much like your logical decision making in daily life. These gate circuits are called logic gates and they perform a few logical functions. We will start by talking about the three most basic logic functions, but save the in-depth coverage of these and other logic gates until Unit 3. The three basic logic functions are the NOT, AND, and OR functions. They have the symbols shown. The inputs are on the left and the outputs are on the right. The NOT function is not truly a logic gate like the AND and OR functions. As a matter of fact, let's talk about the NOT function now. The NOT function simply changes the input to the opposite output. If the input is high, then the output will be low. If the input is low, the output will be high. We call this negation. The NOT function itself is often referred to as an inverter because it inverts the input to its opposite. Now let's look at the AND function. The only way the AND gate will be true is if both of the inputs are true. Otherwise, it will return false. For instance, let's say I want to turn on a light. The power is on is one condition, and the switch is on is a second condition. The only way the light can be on is if both conditions are true. The power is on and the switch is on. Otherwise, the light is off. The same applies to the AND gate. In other words, if both inputs are high, the output is high. If only one input is high, the output is low. If both inputs are low, the output is low. Last, there is the OR function. This function offers us a choice. In the real world, we may want a sandwich. So we ask ourselves, do I want peanut butter or do I want jelly? The sandwich can have peanut butter, it can have jelly, or it can have both peanut butter and jelly. If any of these conditions are true, then it is true that I have a sandwich. If they are both false, however, then I don't have a sandwich, just two pieces of bread. This is how the OR gate functions. If either or both of the inputs are high, then the output is high. The only time the output is low is if both inputs are low. That is a brief overview of the three most common logic functions. Like I said, we dive into these and more in the third unit. If you are following along in the book with these videos, then you will know there is more to the first chapter. However, I think I've hit all the high points and we're ready to start diving into the good stuff. The next set of videos will be in the second chapter of the Digital Fundamentals textbook. Video-wise, this is Unit 2. We're going to start looking at number systems, operations in these number systems, and some codes. So stay tuned as we dig a little deeper into digital electronics.